Nvidia GeForce RTX 5000 suite might be using TSMC's 3 nanometer nodes. GeForce RTX 4090 has been removed from official Nvidia China websites. The new Black Friday deals for the GPUs are already here and they're looking pretty good. And lastly, alleged AMD Ryzen 9 8940HS Hawkpoint APU has been spotted. Alright, so first of we have copy the 7 Kemi. I have to correct that because in the last video, someone corrected me in that. So I have to say it in a correct way. Copy the 7 Kemi has replied to this person here, John Grant. And as you can see, it says display port 2.1. For, well, first, let's look into what he's talking about. And he's saying is that, damn, we must uh, adjust our evolution of RTX 1590 or 5080. Well, basically, the follow-up question is that the display port 2.1. And he claims that, yes, that would be supporting display port 2.1 not only that there's another follow-up question is that uh, do you know the process node from mcht they are asking this question is that uh what the process node would be for the rtx 5090 or the 5000 series overall and he replied basically saying that tsmc3 meaning that it will be tsmc3 nanometer and well that is interesting and we just moving to tsmc3 and, and um, which is kind of expected because you know it's a better node why wouldn't they but yeah, it's interesting to see they're going and moving into the TSMC now and it will be using the, you know, the recently discovered or invented, whatever you want to call it, TSMC's 3 nanometers node. So that is nice to see that RTX 5090 or 5000 series in general will be using this efficient node. So that is good. All right, next up, we have something interesting here. And it's this is the, as you can see, this is the Chinese website for the RTX or the NVIDIA's chinese website here and as you can see in the product section we have well the vibration card and desktop computer and as you can see there's no rtx 4090 here which is kind of interesting why there isn't any we, we do have rtx 40 series and well the the picture it shows is rtx 4080 with the front picture and it just describes every other rtx 40 uh, series in general but we don't have uh, 4090 listed here as you can already tell 4070 4070 ti 4060 4060 ti and 4080 the top of the line cards are there but the main you know flagship which is the rtx 4090 is missing that would mean that the well the ban for the rtx series of cards in china is in full effect at least starting with the rtx 4090 because i believe usa has done that which is kind of strange they have done that but it's kind of like a geopolitical stuff so i'm not gonna go into that but we are seeing that the rtx 4090 is not available anymore in china as you can already tell in the well in the section here it doesn't list here so that is a bad news for the chinese gamers here because they might not be able to get the rtx 4090 in their shelves or in the stores because they are literally banning it and hopefully that won't be happening to all, all the other gpus but we can't really tell anything about the geopolitics so that might happen so yeah kind of unfortunate that chinese gamers will not be able to buy rtx 4090 because for now for now it's missing from the website and next up we have some black friday deals because you know black friday is coming right up so, and we have already got the deals so that's let's look into it shall we so let's look into the first one which is the zotac gaming geforce rtx 3060 amp white edition pretty good looking card as you can already tell it's coming at 249.99 previously it was 279.99 so a mere save 30 dollars not bad 30 dollars is not that small amount but yeah anyway 10 percent decrease here so that's pretty good to see it we also got the ashes phoenix nvidia geforce rtx 3060 v2 and also coming at 254 previously it was 389 so it's a huge huge decrease 35 percent is no joke so yeah that's a black friday deals of course right we also have the msi ventures geforce rtx 4060 ti the newer generation card here and as we can see we have 329 or 359 if you, the black friday deal is for the 359 which is the save 40 dollars 10 percent decrease and you can also uh get more if you can buy it using a rebate card and yeah, you can print that rebate form and then you can sign it up anyway. So yeah, 329 for the minimum price and you can go for this card here. So not bad, not bad really. We also have the Zotac Gaming GeForce RTX 4070, another top of the line card here. And as you can tell, the pricing here is 514 USDs and it was around 600. So 14% decrease, not a big, but not a bad amount either. So yeah, I mean, $500 basically, you could say that. But yeah. It's not a bad pricing. 
We also have the MSI Ventus GeForce RTX 4070, another Ventus card, but this time RTX 4070. And we're getting at 564, previously 599. Strange enough that it's, it didn't really get that much, you know, huge cut, but still using a rebate card, you can get down to 534.99, so not bad. We also got some Intel GPUs here, and first one is the Intel Sparkle Titan RTX, or not RTX, Arc A770 Titan OC. So yeah, you can get that for 289. Previously, it was 319, basically 320, so not a huge cut, 9% only. So yeah, I mean, you can get it. Not a huge cut, but also not that appealing either. So I mean, I wouldn't really go for Intel cards, but if you can buy, get one, you should buy one, right? Now let's move into the ASRock or basically AMD, ASRock Radeon RX 6700 XT Challenger, and we're getting at 299, previously it was 329, so again, not a huge cut here, 9% only, you can save $30, so yeah, th these are some good deals I'm looking at. Next up we have the MSI Mac Radeon RX 6750 XT, the, you know, the refresh one, and we're getting at 351.99, previously it was 359, so yeah, not a bad one, and you also get another promo code here for the $30 off so you can go down to 321 I guess so yeah 321 for this card not bad it's a pretty decent card and 6750 XT getting 321 not a bad deal we also got the XFX Speedstar Radeon RX well, the 6800 and it's coming at 379 previously 459 so 17% not bad I, I really rate this card I mean it's a really good looking card and also 6800 XT or non xt so not bad either and 379 not a bad price for you know the black friday deal so yeah we also got the newer generation the rx 7700 xt from gigabyte and we're getting at 439 so you can save that the previous pricing is not listed here for some reason but yeah if you if you just compare to the current pricing of the gigabyte uh, rate in rx 7700 xt you might see that it can save a lot here maybe but it doesn't really tell you how much so i'm sorry about that Similarly, we can get their RX 7800 XT, which is the, again, XFX Speedster, and that you can get it for $4.99, but not only that, you can apply a $20 coupon here, so basically going down to $4.79, again, not a bad card, and decent pricing, 7800 XT, you can get it for $4.79, not bad. Oh yeah, so that is it, That these are the all cards mentioned already, uh, the links will be in the description, you can get them for, you know, whatever pricing they're offering, because, you know, Black Friday, right, you can get it for very cheap and basically up to $40 as they say so hopefully that is the case and lastly we have something interesting here we have a Geekbench score as you can tell and well the CPU is not really mentioned here because it says AMD engineering sample whatever the code will come in that later on but let's look into that uh well the specs here so as you can tell it's a one processor eight core 16 threads so yeah it's an eight core 16 thread class identifier is again family 25 model 117 stepping two we can get into that later on and the base frequency we can see 4 gigahertz base 4 gigahertz is quite fast yeah interesting anyway and the maximum frequency we can already tell is 5.139 gigahertz so not bad but a code name right here is already is mentioned here phoenix so yeah it's a phoenix apu we're looking at probably because you know what else we can find from phoenix right yeah this is the first phoenix well i'm guessing it's an eight core processor so we'll come into the naming later on so let's look into the performance here well in the single core we're getting 2596 and multi-core 13258 and according to video cards here well as you can see it says the ryzen 9 8940 hs well the 40h or hs not really sure but it probably is the hs and at, at, this is the case here as you can see it's the 8 core 16 threads 4 gigahertz which is the base 5.2 or 5.139 i'm guessing at that time for testing it was 5.139 but now uh, the maximum boost clock would be 5.2 exactly and as i mentioned it's an apu so it will have the rx 780 mcu which is interesting it's 12 cus for an apu it's quite a lot isn't it yeah quite a lot yeah, and the TDP we're looking at is 3554 watts, so not bad, honestly. And as you can see, we're also comparing the, uh, they're also comparing the performance here. And as you can already tell, 259 to 2596, I should say, is that Ryzen 9 8940 HS alleged again. Not sure, but we'll see about that. Well, it, well, according to performance, we can see that it's it's on par with the Ryzen 9 7945 HX, the previous generation, of course. Not a huge lead when we compare the 7940 HS which is the previous one not a big 
yeah, I, I wouldn't call that it's a huge gain. Maybe in a multi-core it does have some some overhead here, so maybe maybe it's kind of works, but I'm not really exciting, you know, not really exciting. But anyway, it it, it has been leaked already. Not sure if this is really the Ryzen 9 1840HS. Could be maybe it could be something else. Maybe it could be like 7840HS. I mean, not sure. But we'll see about that. Not really 7840 because it's a yeah. I don't think that is that would be the case. But we'll see about that. We'll see which cpu that would be for for now we can already see that well the igpu looks pretty solid and it's clocking similar to the ryzen 9 hs so yeah as i said not a huge gain here maybe the gpu clock would be different we'll see about that for now this is the leak that we have to go with because that's the performance we're looking at right here all right so that is it for today don't forget to like share and subscribe well not really share but I would appreciate that but yeah anyway like and subscribe well that really is important and what do you think about these deals they look promising because you know black friday deal we can't we can't miss that can we we can't so yeah have a good day